Well, hello everyone. In this video I would like to show you where the older user settings on the old Nikon cameras went when we are migrating to a newer one. Many people are missing, for example, as I did uh, on the D7000, the so-called user settings U1 and U2. These were two banks which allowed me to save the whole camera configuration to one of these um, presets here. So I could change some menu settings on this camera and I could save the whole camera configuration to U1 and U2 for using configurations other than MAS and P for example. This could be handy for example for uh, special movie preferences or for example for special uh, HDR configurations with uh, bracketing active and um, such things so you could uh, so you could save your user settings to these two um, to these two individual banks so as we can see here um, this is a Nikon D500 and it's also what the video is named but uh, this is equal on other uh, professional newer cameras from Nikon the U1 and U2 settings are missing as we are only changing the modes while holding the mode button and then changing uh, with this dial between the different modes. And you'll notice we only have M, A, S and P, which is fine because I always hated the automatic ones and I think no, no one needs them who's, uh, who's a little bit professional. Um, so um, yes, I would, um, I would, uh, I'm, I'm very happy these, uh, these are gone. But you'll also notice that we have no possibility of um, changing to some kind of U1 or U2 setting. So, um, but keep calm, there is nothing missing. Um, these, uh, these preferences just went somewhere else in the menu. People on the internet are arguing if this is good or if this is bad, and I'm not quite sure about it myself. Um, uh, there are some things positive and there are some things negative about this function. So I'll show you first where you can find those um, where you can find those um, preferences. So we go to the menu now, and I guess you know that we have um, two main menus for setting up our Nikon camera. Um, one of them is the photo shooting menu. This is this one, which is marked uh, yellow on the left side of the menu. And as a second one, we have the custom settings menu. You should know this also from older camera models. So um, these are the two menus, this one and this one, where we change settings in our Nikon camera and, um, and where, we where we could save some configurations. And um, formerly on the older models, we saved the whole camera. Everything which was set up in the, in the, in the menu was saved to U2 or U1. Um, the whole information on, on every menu site which we have here were saved to these two um, wheel preferences. So this has changed. Um, now we have two banks in the, in the menu. We have one bank for user settings in the photo shooting menu. This is the photo shooting menu bank, which is saving all the information which could be changed here in the photo shooting menu. And then on the other side, we have a second menu and the custom settings bank for custom settings ch saves everything we changed here in this uh, custom settings menu. So, um, for example, I change something here in the photo shooting menu and I'll go to the photo shooting menu bank and here I can, um, I can save four different banks, bank A, B, C and D. Every one of them can have different preferences in the photo shooting menu itself. Me, for example, I'm using A as a standard, which is my standard for, um, for, for normal photography. Then I have a second one for HDR shootings. Um, and I'll maybe this afternoon we'll, um, we'll uh, build two others for um, HD video or 4K video. Because these four settings are the ones that I use most. So, the same thing we do have here under the custom settings menu. Here we have custom settings banks as well, A, B, C and D. And don't get confused, I've named them here um, similar to the um, settings that I made on the photo shooting menu, but these are totally different banks because these banks only save all the preferences you make here in this custom setting menu. 
So, is this good or is this bad? First of all, we have to notice, um, formerly we had two banks, U1 and U2. Now we have A, B, C and D, which is twice the amount of user settings we can use. Uh, and we can distinguish between settings we make in the photo shooting menu and between settings we make in the custom settings menu. Me personally, first I was a little bit disappointed because the U1 and U2 wheel was very fast to access and I could change all the preferences very fast by just the, the flip of a button and um, this is gone now. So to make this whole thing more fast, you can for example put both these um, menu entries, the photo shooting menu bank and the uh, custom settings bank to the so-called um, my menu. This is what I did, for example. I've put both um, both uh, menu items to this my menu, so I already ha so that I always have them on quick access. I can uh, I can fast switch to this menu, and um, as well the second option to fast access those both. Um, those both um, menu items when in normal shooting mode and shooting photos you can quickly access um, these preferences also when pressing the I button and um, then you already have the photo shooting menu bank and the custom settings bank here in the um, in the I menu so you can fast switch them and say okay no I want to shoot some HDR video uh, sorry some HDR photos of course and you're good to go. So, okay, this is different. We have to make two. Um, we have to make two uh, changes in the menu, where we formerly had one uh, one one dial. Um, but on the other side, you can combine these two. You could, for example, say, okay, I'll use photo shooting menu bank A, but I'll use custom settings bank B, and, uh, and this gives you not only uh, twice the amount of um, of of available uh, user banks but also the possibility to uh, to combine uh, two kinds of settings for example uh, so this is something which is uh, which is quite nice um, on the other hand there are some upsides as, uh, there are some downsides on this as well um, for example, uh, when shooting HDR mode, the old uh, the old D7000, when I changed it to U1, for example, which was my HDR mode, then the camera um, loaded every menu setting um, which was HDR related, which was fine, and it also activated the bracketing function with the uh, formally set up um, steps and everything. So, um, if I do this here now, I'll notice that not all settings on the camera are saved to the custom banks. Um, for example, not the ones that I, uh, that I change here on the camera. So, um, I'll go here to HDR, which is my HDR configuration. I'll go here to HDR. So, I'm good to go shooting HDR, but the one thing that is missing and that was formerly saved is the possibility for bracketing. So I always have to, I always, for example, have to use this bracketing um, uh, mode dial. Okay, it's it's two seconds to to activate it, but formerly it was saved on the on the old camera uh, with the U1 and U2 settings, uh, which I have to do now every time I change uh, my mode. So this is one of the downsides of, of this thing, um, but uh, the more I shoot with this camera, the more I'm getting used to this. And um, as, you, as you notice such things as these fast access to these settings, yeah, um, it's, it's a little bit slower to change the settings now, but it's also possible. One thing I'm missing, and this is where I, where I call to Nikon, um, the problem is if I'm uh, if I'm using custom settings bank A now and I'm changing some of the parameters here, then um, the custom settings bank A uh, is saved with the changes that I make. I would wish to have the option um, to go in the custom settings bank or as well in the photo shooting menu bank A and uh, have a have a button where I could say lock. So when I'm, this would this would make it possible for me to to go in the HDR 
um, bank here for example and to say lock this configuration so that I can't change any of these uh, of these preferences by accident uh, which might happen fast you 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 change something in the menu and uh, next time you go uh, shooting HDR something is wrong and and you'll notice it after the shoot for for example um, so this is a bit dangerous um, and it was better on the old cameras because there once you saved the menu you you, you set it to U1 and after you changed something in the menu and, and flipped away here and came back to U1 um, all the settings were loaded as you formally saved them and here I do not have the option to say save or load um, I just have the option to change between those banks and I can now when using this bank and I say a storage folder is um, WTF for example um, then the next time I'm using photo menu bank B, uh, the storage folder is still WTF, and um, this is something that I'm that I'm a bit I'm I'm a bit sad about. So this is what this is something which I would um, which I would uh, wish for a firmware upgrade to have the possibility to lock the the uh, photo shooting menu bank or the custom settings bank against uh, accidentally changes. So. Um, Go ahead, use this function, you'll get used to it that you no longer have the U1 and U2 and there are some upsides and downsides. I, could, I hope that I could, uh, I could give you a little impression of how this thing works now.